Okay. What are we going to do today? Right then. So, do you know what? We've been doing all this malarkey, burgoids, and I'm a bit bored of that for the time being. I want to do something odyssey. I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I've been out shooting thargoids and whatnot, right? And um, good. Good for me. But now I think it's time to do something else, right? Just in case. Just in case on the off chance, right? We asked to get to do something a little bit different in the next couple of days. And I'm rusty with it. So, what am I going to do? Don't know. Commander Duck Duck One, how are you doing? Okay, here we go. Right. Um, bom, 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 bom. Let's go and drop those combat bonds off, I think. Uh, we'll go and drop them off here. Just like that. And we'll start with that. I think we'll start with that. Okay, so we're still in the crate. Should Shouldn't get pestered. Yeah, not doing bad. It's nice and warm today. Uh, I don't know how hot it is, but 22, 23. Doing some Thargoid interceptor shooting. In the, the plasma, the plasma crate. So now we're going to go hand those bonds in. Job done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go off and do something a bit less boring instead. Because it's been Thargoid combat, Thargoid combat, Thargoid combat. That's all it's been. Or do something else. Just doing... Or do something else. So for that, we'll need a different ship. And it'll be good to get into a different ship. Getting tired of crates. Right. Let's just park that. I gotta go to the Musashi. And drop these combat bonds off. Musashi. There it is. Nice bit of scanning on a Sunday. Um, let's see how hot it is. Alexa, how hot is it here? Twenty-two. So, it's not really at weather, but it's certainly sure it's weather. So we'll get to this ship, drop our gear off, no dramas, over to the carrier, pick up a different ship, perhaps run some ground missions, you know, to see that the closest area, what's about. So yeah, so I might do some Thargoid combat a little bit later, but um, it's not all about those Thargoids, is it? Might even just do some normal, jump in the Corvette and do some normal ship shooting. Okay, here we go. And Musashi. More power, come on, all power to the engines. on. Landing gear deployed. Landing gear has indeed been deployed. There's the pad. 
Let's go sit on it. Hull integrity compromised. Taking damage. Don't be successful. Real. Right, let's go. Um contact. Combat bonds. Only thirty six million. Thirty three after my pilot. Um no missions available, though, right? It's a shame. It really is. Anything to pick up here? No, not really. I think we're really going to need. Hopefully it's not going to be a load of, oh, deliver these missions here, deliver those missions there. So we've dropped them off. Um, galaxy map now. Where's the carrier? Right there. It does. It really does. I mean, I'm all for, you know, shooting thyroids and all the rest of it. It's been great. I'm bored of it now. So my carrier happens to be in that system. It's only for the short hop away. Here we go, here we go. Long going. Real, where's the carrier? It'll be right there. And then we gotta have a think about where we're gonna go. Hey Mike, how's it going? I don't know what you're thinking. I feel like doing something completely different today. When I say completely different, I kinda mean Perhaps not shooting Thargoids for the time being. Good. Yeah, I know. I'm bored, man. I'm bored. And we're not having a little bit of, you know, first-person shooting. Or oh, shooting pilots. Pirates. Whatever. Everyone's so hell-bent on the Thargoids. I don't need the weapons. I've done a little bit. You know, let's do something else. So I'm just going to the carrier now, picking up a ship. Okay. Under the cover of darkness. Docking request accepted. Landing gear deployed. It's only a little bit of hull damage. damage. Right. Cool. <clears throat> Here we are. Um, brilliant. Universal character graphics. We haven't got anything there to do. Shipyard. So what are we going to do? What should we do? Let's do some ground-based missions. And for that case, I will need... Perhaps that. Has it got... It's got a 35... 
like your jump range brilliant has it got a vehicle hanger yes it has and it's got a fuel scoop that'll do for me what else has it got and it's got operations limpet controller and it's got some cargo use this ship we're going to use the old cobra mark 4 go and get up to some mischief somewhere oh look it's thinking about it what's he doing what's he doing he's using a cobra mark 4 what's going on Marvel at its unusual glory. Right. Right, where are we gonna go? Where are we going to go? How far is that away? Quite a bit. A DT. 70 light years. My God, where can we go around here? There's a station down there, HR1183. Why not? 96 light years away. Bound to be some mischief down there to get up to. How many jumps? Three, that'll do. Okay. Oh, of course it is. I'm just so bored. You gonna you gonna jump into this, Mike? Frameshift drive charging. I didn't even look to see what armaments I had on this ship. Beam lasers, two beam lasers is all I got. Oh, I got some multi cannons. Fair enough. You can certainly get to irritating some people with that. If it comes to it, I'll just drag a Corvette down. Well. Bit of scanning, bit of scooping. Good evening, Simon. I'm going to go and do something a bit less boring instead. Fancy in on that? I was going to sort of head on down to... Where was I going? HIP 1183, I think it was. Uh, and see if there's any missions down there to do. It's a little bit bored with the whole shooting Thargoids thing, right? Day of the patch. Well, I'm working day of the patch, but I may well do something. I think I probably will. Fuel scooping. <laughs> Fuel scoop. A Thargoid scout ship. Possibly. Could be, couldn't it? You never know. I mean, what one would you have? Marauder? Regenerator? Berserker? Berserker's the one with the missiles, right? 
That would be Semic. HR1183, 96 light years away from the main system, so it's not a million miles away. Here we are, in system. Fuel scooping, fuel scoop disengaged. Someone give me a station. There is Ark's fate. Bound to be something going on. Yeah, it's a thing, in it? I don't know. I don't know whether it would be worthwhile. It's odd. I don't know what to do. I don't know what chip to have in system, because I want to be in the system. Do I sit there in a sort of standard crate? Ah... Uh... I see it was that bounty, was it? Wonder what caused that bounty. Must have must have clipped the ship. I was doing some Thargoid combat this morning. Great. And I thought, I need to do something else. Ah, I see. So you clipped another NPC, which then died. And you got the bounty. I see. So here, I'm kind of hoping it's a few cheeky missions. Well, let's see what we can find. Here it is, Ark's Faith. More power. Good to see you, Commander. Access authorized. Clear to land at Docking Bay 3-1. Hope there's some mischief here, because, um... Ah, I've overshot the landing pad. Landing gear deployed. That's embarrassing. They're all in the bag going, ah, look at this plank. He's overshot his landing pad. And we are down. Okay. Docking successful. Ranker dispatched. You are most welcome, Commander. I've got a stored ship here anyway. I'm gonna, um... I am going to... What's here? Type 6 transporter. Not going to need that. I'm going to bring my... Um... Corvette over. And then, because I want to jump back and do a lot of messing about, I'm going to bring my... Where are we going to bring you? I'm going to bring my. Not that. Where is it? My DBX here, so I can zoom off quickly without just messing about. That one. Not that I'm going to need them. Let's have a look. What missions we got?
Destruction of Operation IDA Sentry Skimmer. Uh, I bet that's going to be all load of rubbish. There's transportation missions. Yeah, great stuff. What materials they got? All the stuff a, a gushing commander's going to need. Um, let's get out. Let's get out into Odyssey. Quite looking forward to this. There's some nice missions here to go and mess about with. No, in my luck, there won't be. Run, run, run. Remember this, everybody? It's the Odyssey lift. Seems like ages since we streamed a first-person mission in Odyssey. Okay. Mission board. What have we got? Combat. Keep a takedown missions. Settlement eliminations. Transportation missions. Man, if I just picked the wrong station. Everything is going to get me wanted. Okay, so where else could I potentially go? Let's ask a vendor. See what's going you look on. Like you won't just be doing me a favor. You'll be doing the whole damn system one. Yeah, that's just Enough gonna you, huh? make me wanted. Mm, yeah. If you want, if I don't have it, it's not worth having. Well, there's no missions really down here, unless you want to get, you know, sure. Take a look around. stuffed. <laughs> I like the box of tissues right by there. You know me. where to find me. Where is... Where is... And let's have a look. Where are we? Map mode... Anarchy. Starope. There's nobody there. Great. Um, can we go? Where are we? The data mode. Somewhere where there's a black market as well. Colony. There's a black market there. Any suggestions? A rope. Salano. There you go, Salano. There's black market there. Low security industrial asterope. Investment, military, that might be quite good. What do you all reckon? Um, that mode. Anarchy, and I want right. There you go. Perhaps we'll try Astro. We can try and win over with promotional offers. 
bugger all happening here. It's not fair, so I'm going to jump. Well, better than here. Well, looks to be better than here anyway. Trying to find you a bit of mischief. No far zone. We hope to see you again, Commander. Hopefully, we'll be missed just right here. Mercus Observatory. Hopefully they'll have some missions. You never know. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. To be fair, Simon's probably best at finding all the mischief than what I am. your electric meter's doing this. Oh, and windows up there. Oh, right, okay. Copernicus Observ Observatory. and easy. I wish there was a button in the cockpit. Turn these golden lights off. It's good to see you, Commander. Please enjoy your stay at this facility. Access quad. Okay, here we go. Head directly for bay one two. Bay one two. Landing gear deployed. Look at this. It's a tech world. Right. Okay then. Brilliant. Docking complete. Engaging docking restraints. You are Took it out of mission board here. Yeah. Ooh, there's lots of Lots of combat to be had. Look, look at all this. Right. We haven't got any ships. Perhaps we'll bring our ships down here. 
Have they arrived where they're meant to be going yet? Nearly. I gotta start clearing all this stuff out. Um what's there? Well, that's next to news to anybody, that is. Start spreading things around a bit. Right, okay. Let's get out and um Universal Counter Graphics. Sell that. Back. Exit. Right. Disembark. Oh, you've got a good... I don't know, the update's cumulative, though. That's the thing, isn't it? I don't know. I think it goes to the update, it does the update. Nice big spikes in your broadband. But tell you what I watched yesterday, or last night. I watched um, the new Predator movie on Disney. On Stars. It was really good. It was really good. Oh. Birdlands. Eagle. That's what I would say, duck, duck one. Hey. Look at this. <laughs> Just look at it. Amazing hovering. Screens. Do you want an overpriced Even these are hovering a little bit, look. Oh dear. Right, okay. Missions. Give us a mission. Combat mission. Ooh. Settlement, raid, exterminate, and hill mob. Right, I do that. Right, we're going to do that. And then... There's anyone there. Exterminate the Ant Hill mob members. We're going to have that. To have a look. Operations. All that's going to get us to be a naughty person. I quite fancy the idea of doing a heist, but I don't want to get, you know, a bit of transportation going on. Oh, good for them. They're not giving it. I'm not, I heard they were going to give everybody something over here. God knows what. Right, um, let's have comms. Mike, you gonna join the, the session? Yeah, you'd think the UK well, would be the same as well, wouldn't you? Gateway to the stars. It's going to be a long-range shuttle. Will that be everything? I will switch to my group. Here we go. I thought I was in it. I must have gone in. I must have gone in. We're always here if you change your mind. Exit. Exit to main menu. Right, continue. Okay. If you see something suspicious, please report it to the nearest on the Hello Alert. Thank you for your cooperation. Invite. Team. Right. A new commander has joined your team. A new commander has joined my team. 
as you read. Okay. Any other missions? Max Sandwich, thanks very much. So take out the anti Xeno initiative personnel. Oh, take them out and keep them. Uh, and you know what? I think we're going to take down Jimmy Moses. Why not? Right. I'm going to go up here. Uh, uh, I'm going to share a mission with you, Mike. Um, exterminate the anthill mob. A spacious hall. Welcome to Apex Interstellar. You're oh, I love the that shuttle. I want a long range shuttle. Do you require any other assistance? And we are going to do. Well, a lot of them are in Maya, aren't they? Do this stuff first. Interesting. You make it our transport and accept no responsibility for any grievances pertaining to our work. Goodbye. That's perfect. I've confirmed your flight. We cool. at Apex Interstellar wish you. We would like to extend. I don't know. I'm smiling as I'm playing this. It's great, isn't it? Weird. I had forgotten how much fun I have with it. And look at this. I mean, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Shuttle docked. Ready for boarding. What's the worst that could happen, eh? Go there, deliver something. Do the delivery missions first. Build a bit of standing. They might give us better missions. You never know. This fella gets us where we need to be. you doing oh it's great that we're doing missions in the Maya system if you can see it Yeah, well, I got solar panels over here with the electricity, so it's not so bad. Summer months, right? Of course, you're not running the heating. But they're saying over here now, turn your heating on, British people, now. Why would you do that? Well, it's going to warm the house. The house is like 20... Well, the sensors in the house are saying it's like 24, 25 degrees anyway. And like the floors are like 23. So, you know, 
Why would I want to do anything else? Craziness. That's what it is. It's the government, I tell you. This is going to be a cheeky delivery mission. I'll do these two and then we'll start on the old anthill mob. There's our pilot. Incoming message. Incoming message. Here's one, look, Proteus Wave Operation Update 9. Phase 1, build to operational status. That was 7th of August. Funny, there's been no update since. None of this calibrating stuff going on in game. No. Oh no. Well yeah, Germany, they've all, they've all just, the gas has been turned off. They've all gone, hmm, cold showers. Which is alright in the summer. Look how far away it is. Yeah, hours. It's okay in the summer. In the winter, cold shower. It's gonna be a bit brisk, isn't it? it? Does make me wonder. No, it, it's like at the moment, it's all. It's all a hidden problem. When it gets to October, then it's it's really gonna kick off. I reckon. Um, what am I doing? That one there. That's what I think. Especially in the UK, anyway. But they only start looking... I mean, who was I watching? I think it was Martin Lewis. And he's our sort of, like, advocate for getting deep money saving, that sort of stuff. The money saving expert. And I got a lot of time for him. And he was saying, if only we had a gas storage network here in the UK. We'd buy gas cheaper um, and store it over the winter months. And that's true, because all those massive drums you see back around in the 80s and 90s, they've all been torn down, got rid of, in favour of, like, you know, a pipeline. Well, that's great, isn't it? Except the other end of the pipeline happened to be at war with everybody. Ex yeah, exactly. I mean, there's smart people absolutely everywhere. And you know what? You've hit the nail on the head there. We need to be smarter. It's like, right, there's going to be a problem. Start thinking some stuff up. Well, I think, you know, manufacturing. They should be self-sufficient for manufacturing. I think you should be self-sufficient in energy generation. And these, these are like, you know, easy stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, my solar panels, they're working fine. But, um, not so much so, I say mid-October to the beginning of April. Not so much there. Um, those are barren months. With four kids, the washing machine constantly going, computers going, and what have you. It's expensive stuff. I mean, I think I might have mentioned it, but recently I had a new boiler, gas boiler fitted, combination boiler. What generally happens is I get up in the morning, sensible hour, right, you know, sensible hour, get up, have a shower, thanks. Still hot water. Some people might get up two o'clock in the afternoon or come back from rugby, no hot water, so it's on again. So we went for a combination boiler, so it's kind of on demand. Mm. 
Yeah, no, I heard they were doing something like that with um, one of the African countries. They were building a solar farm and they were going to supply us. Uh, mine's a four, 4.2 kilowatt system. They're, uh, I don't know, I think. Fourteen panels on my roof. And the roof's full. <laughs> um, and my house points points east west and it's on the west side. Yeah. Because she didn't want them on the front of the house because it would spoil the look of the house. Well, I mean, we've had them about four or five years, and I suppose now we're gonna see really see the benefit of them. Well, exactly. I suppose, you know, Australia, Florida, anywhere where there's a good gold bit of sunshine, you know, if you've got solar, you're laughing. You're laughing yourself all the way to the leads, as they used to say. Yeah, seven to eight in winter. We're lucky to get four. I mean, you don't realise how dark it gets. It's really, um, it's bonkers. Of course, I'm out here all day, not doing this. I'm doing work and stuff. My computer's on there. I do an awful lot of my work on this rig um, because it allows me to do animations and stuff and I've got bigger monitors and, and whatnot. So I tend to do it all on here. That might have to change. Just use the work computer and have them. Plus, that oil radiator I have here. Now, that's a pretty penny as well. But it's either that or freeze your bollocks off. Or get a different radiator. Or heater. I get an electric fire. Like that. Or do something. Wall mount it, you know, whatever. Well, this is the thing, see? Winter is coming. Not to quote Game of Thrones, but it is. Winter is coming. And um, whereas in Game of Thrones, winter is coming resulted in a one episode battle. Which, to be fair, was a bit weak, wasn't it? Um, I think there's going to be some real hardship this winter. Oh, heat pumps are going to be big. I just want the technology to advance enough now. Because even now, right? If you had rushed out and you bought a heat pump, um, they've got a new technology out now. Even in America, they've got windowsill pumps. Right? So people in apartments can have the benefit of all that. So technology is moving all the time. Just like electric cars. I've always fancied having a Mustang Marquee. Fab. Yeah. Love it, right? So... You won't get one for under 50 grand. Even when that's second hand, 50 grand. And that's for a standard model, 260 miles on it, which means you're gonna get about 200, 220 miles on it, normal driving. I travel a bit when I do travel. I travel at ranges of like three, 400 miles. That's why I run a good old diesel tractor, right? Plowing up and down the motorway. Um, You're right, those hots, it's all done with silica and sand, isn't it? There's loads of stuff going on at the moment, right? And, you know, unfortunately, I, everyone's right. Hardship like this is going to drive innovation. You know, they're all, there's always these old wives' tales, right? And all these, all these old stories where people, right, they say, Haha, I remember a time when someone had invented something and that's the last you heard of it. I remember a time there was a guy who came on the news. I've invented a compound you add with water 
Mix it with half a tank of petrol and you've got a full tank of petrol. Never heard of this guy ever again. Then there was another guy as well that invented a spark plug that could spark underwater. And then never heard of him ever again. And there's been a few things like that. I remember being on the news, I was travelling back from wherever and some news story came up. Right? Um, now, they're going to have to go into the old archives of BP or Shell or whoever's bought them, right? And gone, right, let's start being a bit innovative. That's my point of view. Senamp heat battery. I'm going to put that into my Google browser. Hey, this is a good, normally dangerous conversation. It's nearly as good as last week's, where we were talking of programs from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, but no, energy saving. I mean, this is this is what it's all about, right? One thing I have done as well in the house. I've let me just type that Senamp heat battery in. And I will look at that later. Oh, they've got them over here. Compact thermal storage for hot water, heating, and... Incoming message. Something else. Um, so what's that one there? 210 HP. Don't know what that is. Have a look. Use with valiant heat pumps. Interesting. Worthwhile having a look at all that. Yeah, so what I've been doing in the house, right? I've been putting these smart switches on everything. So, and then I've programmed my voice assistant, right? That they're turned off. So in the house, we've got, she's got a color laser. Um, and there's a little HP laptop and a screen. So I've put the all M right onto a plug. Great. Put it plugs in a group. And I've called that, I don't know, say room one. Turn it on, you say turn on room one. Bing, there they are, right? Brilliant. Then at 10 o'clock every night, where no one should be doing any work, it turns it all off. That way then things like your laser printer and kept on all the time. Or, you know, the laptop's not constantly charging all the time. Right? So that's something I've done there. You know, and um, of course all the lights are on it anyway. Right? Maybe my TV has got some sort of smart hub attached to it. Internal, right? Control it via that device. So it's all that sort of stuff. It's all these these things that are left on, like this, like, like chargers and all the rest of it. The vampire products that are sucking all this power in. That's what they're saying is some of the biggest problems. But then when you think about it, right, the government's going out there and saying, oh, you've got to buy an electric car. And then there's what is generally renowned in our generation as an energy crisis. does make you wonder. It's like smart meters. I haven't got a smart meter. I wanted one. Oh, sorry, we can't install it in your house. Why is that? There's not enough room in the board because you've had your solar. I said, well, put a bigger box in. Oh, I can't do that. You know? Crazy stuff. Well, they do have excess energy at night, but you think, well, hang on. Why have we got excess energy at night? People have their lights on, have the TVs on, boiling the kettles every five minutes, right? And all that malarkey. But apparently not. I mean, you can get cheaper car charging deals um, at night. So what a lot of people are doing, and there's a guy on YouTube about it. I think he's the... Is he on my, on my YouTube page? 
let's uh, refresh this. It's normally it normally pops up every now and again. No, typically. Uh, home electric. Uh, yeah, the electric vehicle man. Look him up on YouTube. He does an awful lot of mansplaining for it and all the rest of it. And what basically what he said was, here's the thing. Get yourself on an EV tariff. Charge your battery at night. Right? Use it throughout the day when power is... Yeah, charge, charge it. Use it during the day. Right? When power is expensive, job done. But how soon are the electric companies going to cotton on to the fact they're using next to bugger all during the day through the night <laughs> using loads? Okay, we're approaching our destination. Control, it's Apex 629 requesting docking. That could be the way. Could be, it could be the way. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, what to do? That's right, octopus energy. You're right there. Right, this is just a, a quick take package to some person. And I can sell my car for more than a deep cost. Well, what's mine? Seven-year-old cash kite, right? Diesel, got all the toys on it, lovely. I love it, it's great, great old, um, great old device. So my son wants that, good for him. Um, Problem with this is and it's hardly what you call a big problem. Is um but what car do I have? You know, because my parents have gone and bought like a hybrid. Good for them. Um, is that what I want? I don't know. Do I want an electric car? I don't know. I think... I don't think they're quite there in the charging network in the UK. Not from around here, are you? Let's see what you Yeah, the good old WRX. Now, okay, nothing's come up. they're Go a on. quintessentially classic car, aren't they? Well, that's not it, is it? Come on. That's not who I want. If this job goes sideways, it's going to be real bad. Be no, careful. I am not. Are doing you sure it. I can't persuade you to do it? No. So where's where's the other one? Ah, here we are. Eyes up. All right, darling. Pleasure what you got? You. I got a pack. Thanks. This will be a huge help. So long for now. Yeah, I've got about 37,000 on mine, seven years. I don't go anywhere. Right, so next up. Apex shuttle. Local booking. I got my... Fetch the canister. Okay. Well, I'm surprised they haven't found out some cheaper way of converting it to electric. The problem is the batteries, right, are like 
I mean, what's the battery pack on the on the Mustang Mach-E? About the 18 grand. I thought, oh yeah, you know, it's going to be some sort. Of, it's all these all little batteries like welded together. You're like, what? <laughs> but no, that's what you want. You want conversions. Because people will be happy with their cars. Rip that engine out. Rip that gearbox out. Stick some electric motors in. Battery pack. Job done. If you could find a technology to do that, nice and cheap. Lovely. Yeah, I think in five years' time, right? Well, cost is all relative. Especially with inflation, what have you. But if they're, gonna, they're gonna be more expensive. It's not gonna be like your 55 grand car, but effectively what is a mediocre SRV with a decent name. Glad to have you on board. There, yeah, you're right. And let's face it, EVs have been around in the UK for years. I draw your attention to the good old milk float from the 1960s. Good enough for Ernie the Milkman. Not sure he wanted to go to Reading in his mind, but there you go. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, sports cars... Sports cars never really had much range. You didn't, you didn't buy the sports car to go long distances, did you? Right? You bought it, and it, you'd have a tank. You might get, say, 185 miles out of it. Boom. Right? It was the, the sort of like the SUVs or, the, you know, the, the GT cars that had... You know, the bigger range. Yeah, it's about 320 miles, isn't it? That's what that is. So, you know, that's not bad. Not what you're getting now. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's it, innit? Everyone puts their flipper down and then wonders why the fuel gauge gets sucked dry. So let's think on this. My car, on a full tank of diesel Denzel, Denzel diesel, right, will do, I've had 580 miles on it, all motorway driving, up to North Wales and down. Right for work. I recently went up the M25 way. Full tank, 60 litres, it's about that. So it is about, it's knocking on the door about 58 to 60 miles to the gallon. So you know, that's the thing. And you never ever let your tank run dry, do you? Well, not in a diesel car, because you've got to go through some sort of malarkey. So when you think about an EV car, and some of the cars will, will allow you to charge your house if the grid goes down. I think the Kia does, doesn't it, right? Um, I think that the Ford Lightning in America, that'll let you do it. But all this stuff is big stuff. And do you buy a car or do you lease it? So I bought my car. Sounds like Simon bought his car. But if you lease an EV, right, then you haven't got to worry about all oh, the batteries losing its capacitance and all the rest of it. But then you curb your alloys over here. Oh, I'll be 400 sheets, mate. And because we've got loads of high curbs around here, what do you need to do? You're right. You're right there, Commander Duck Duck One. I think it's the solid state batteries they've worked out can do all that sort of so yeah I mean two or three years I reckon there's going to be a drastic change in battery technology and that battery technology is is going to make see what we've got here look you know ridiculous 
oh, we're in the, you know, we're in the, the sort of like, I would say we're probably in the Bronze Age, maybe. Yeah, exactly. You know, what you want, at least, is the Nokia, Nokia 3310. That's what you want. Which I incidentally have got one upstairs in the attic. You know, but I think a couple of years' time, it's going to be absolutely bonkers. I think Fisker are interesting. Their battery technology seems a bit more up-to-date than everybody else's. Um, and they're getting some decent range, I think 360 miles to a charge. Yeah, you're right, Commander Duck Duck. Well, I mean, as battery technology increases, I mean, lithium's the problem, so they're talking about putting um, ferrite in some of the cars now. Oh, yeah, I mean, advancing a petrol engine. That's why I don't think I'm going to... I don't know, what car do I get as a stopgap, or do I just go, eight hey, I'll have an electric car, and I'm done with it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Yeah, and that's the thing. Can I get by with a banger? Now at the moment, over here, the bangers are fetching top money. There's always that need to do a 300 mile road trip. Um. Yeah, I mean, plug-in hybrid or just like a hybrid? I mean, are plug-in hybrids the way forward? I mean, you know, I think, do you just go for a cheaply priced EV? Well, they all laugh at me because my son had to use my car, right, because his car's off the road an MOT, right? So, that's great. He said, so, like, Dad, I've put £30 worth of fuel in there for you. You've got 200 miles range. He said, that'll do you for the rest of the year. And he's probably not wrong, to be fair. I might just pop around a bit here and there. I don't need anything too fruity. Ready for docking. Just let me know. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I, I wouldn't know what to do, to be honest with you. These mild hybrids, not worth the paper they're written on. Some of them only got a 12 volt battery in it. But I've probably got a bigger battery in, in anything. They're expensive here. I mean, I think the cheapest EV you can get over here is still about 38 grand. Still about 38 grand. So, you know, it's... It's an extravagance. Have a nice day. Right, here we go. Forgotten what I gotta do here. Fetch item from container 10. Make sure you stick to the rule. Just a minute, Commander. Just a minute, Commander. Good. You're clear. 150. Good afternoon, Steve Shaw. How are you doing? 
I think the testers are expensive everywhere you go. Right, it's from the ground, isn't it? Container 10. Where is it? It's 30 metres that way. Gonna be on the roof in it. I don't get it. That is container 10. Ah, shit. Well, have I got it? That's definitely it. Container 10. I think that's it. Or did I hit the wrong one? Container 10. Brilliant. Yeah, I put the key code in and it worked. So it was definitely it. Oh well, what have you? Um, Apex shuttle. Let's go do a shooty mission then. Apex Interstellar Transport expects no responsibility for any grievances sustained while on board an Apex vessel, including but not limited to microchipping, image analysis, language modification. Shuttle request set. Oh, you're in trouble now, dumb. Oh, bugger off. They saw me, didn't they? Oh, for God's sake. Some guy shooting me. Where's this bloody taxi? Come on, hurry up. Well, yeah, it is. It, look, I don't want to have to shoot. Um, Moving up. Got it. Field off nine, holding in, nothing. Run. Come on, 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 in, board, go. Yes. Suck it. <laughs> Oh no, we've gone. Look. We're off. Oh, I can see there you are, Mike. <laughs> Mike and his techno mamba. Oh. What? Well, that got a bit scary, didn't it? Well, yeah, exactly. And the mission was bugged, to be honest. Right? Um, my, I don't know. Mike could probably shoot it. Uh, and destroy me. Probably.
We're gonna go here to Martinez mining station and go loud anyway. Everyone gets blown up on a mission like this with me. <laughs> Oh, um, Mike could probably blow it out the sky, yeah. I don't know if you can interdict it. Can you see the shuttle, Mike? This is uh, Martinez Mining Station. We're off to. And then i got to go somewhere and shoot someone. That'll be interesting. So yeah, it's um I'll have a look at that. Sun amp batteries. Interesting stuff. Okay, what's next? Wait for the taxi to get there, I suppose. Oh yeah, defense turrets are going to destroy you. Yes. Oh, so look at fully charged. Yeah, I watched that. But yeah, it's it's, it's the great big next disaster, isn't it? I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I'm going to say mail roll. Oh seven, commander. Okay, okay, come on, get on the ground. Something better to look at, isn't it? So yeah, I might do a bit of streaming. Because my daughter's got a broken leg, she's not going to go to karate or go to rugby and all the rest of it. So I'll do some streaming, I think. Um... You know, as the things happen. I think it's a good thing. No? Why not? I think once you take off in an apex and you clear the planet, you're not going to be interdicted in an apex. And at the moment, I know we're instancing with Mike as well, right? Um, or Mike's added into the group. But nothing's broken yet, touch wood. It's all going to go horribly wrong on this mission. Um, I want... What do I want? Confirm. 
E bridge. With Apex Got a landing pad for me? Oh, definitely. I reckon trying multi crew is going to be a must, right? Because, and then we'll try now. and do it from Horizons in. We'll, we'll really see if we can screw it up. Because you guarantee it, if it's going to be screwed up, we can do it. Mr. Randini. Thank you, Commander. Right, exterminate the Ant Hill mob members. Here we go. Mike, are you en route? Oh, definitely. And it's been a right pain. Hope to see you again soon. Well, you never know, my good woman. You may see me in about 10 minutes after I shoot that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy over there. Let's have a look here. Let's see what we got. So, here's the base. I'm going in there with a pistol. That's not Mike. There's quite a few people around here. Look, we got one there. I dare say there's going to be... One or two fellas over there, perhaps. Uh, mostly around here, though, I would say. Right. Here we go. Shooters. Right. Hey, this is a <laughs> you'll pay for that. Yes, we're going in, John Wick. This is a no fire zone. Stop. Ah. Entering pressurized environment. Free to get into operations. I could hack it. Why not? Try to remember what to do. Entering restricted area. Aha! There's a person in there. Look. Siobhan Barnes. Security profile closed. There you go. Now it's going to get messy. So far, so good. Yeah, look, sneaking up behind me. I won't go. Uh, uh, uh. 
There you go. Eleven down. Ha! Sharp shooters, eh? Exploration journals. I haven't seen them before. Transfer complete. There's going to be nothing in there. And what I'd like to see, right, is better distribution of items or new items that's what I would like to see bit of californium bit of that. Open that as well. I never take these things, I just open them. Right, what's going on around here? A little bit of wiring. Leaving pressurized environment. Bound to be people in here. Always somebody in here. Radioactivity. Well, it's not running so bad. I think it's running well. At the moment. Alright. The frames per second aren't massive, are they? But I'm also streaming, so... You know, it's... It's not desperate. open. So we've got, if they exist, four more people. Leaving pressurized environment. Shot everyone in there. Shot everyone in there. someone check it out here my trick shots well the graphics cards are coming down in price I can't find anything here <laughs> hello Tony how are you Right. 
let's have a look. Everyone should come to us now. Like where it says habitat data port. It's not habitat data port at all. I've got one more person to find. Anyone coming running? Doesn't look like, does it? Is it this? The sentry skimmer. <laughs> oh, it's you, Mike. God for that. <laughs> the bloody turret having a go. I suppose I should have turned that off, shouldn't I? That looks like Mike. Have it. It wasn't that either. So come on, where's this other person? I'll go and check over there. Might be someone wandering around. This is what they've really gotta they've really gotta fix, haven't they? If they say there's 21 people there, well, I'm not saying make it easy, but I'm just saying, you know, don't make it difficult. This is great, isn't it? Amanda Randini, how are you doing? Okay. We are... You got an SRV in your, in your ship, Mike? Great. See if you can find this bloke. Well, everyone would be riding, wouldn't they, Joseph? <laughs> Just outside the perimeter. Right.
Which way? This way? Past this massive ship? Oh, there's your ship over there. There's mine. This is the only problem with getting a, an apex, right? Because effectively, then, you haven't got access to your SRV and whatnot. Oh, but hang on. That's great, isn't it? That's a scorpion. There's no scanner on a scorpion. Have you got anything else in there? Ah, right. Let's go and drive... To Mike's. Where's Mike's car? There it is. Don't run me over. Don't run me over. <laughs> What's nice and purple? Right. Now it's going to go horribly wrong. Brilliant. Drive. Right in, Mike. There he is. Let's go. 614 miles that way. Come on, he's... That way. That way. Ah, there you go. That way. Burl Santana. Or that NPC. Come on, Mike. Let's go, 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 go. Is the handbrake on or what? leave that roll and disembark right uh, can I get a taxi right I can't I have to go 345 miles this way 345 kilometers this way it's not so bad because Like, I'm seeing it in 4K. It's being down-rendered there to 1080p. And I'm streaming. It's working all right. Um, right, have a look at that. Uh, uh, uh. Go, 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 go. Mike is going to... Mike is behind me. Fifty-eight meters. Right. 
Apex. Local booking. Got another destructing mission to go, and we. Um, that's not going to work, is it? Sung biological bloody thingy. That's us at the wrong place. Exterminate the Antil mob members. Martinez Station. Yes, done. Thank you very much. I just need to do a local book in. Not a local. It's a long range book in. And I have to go to. Astero. That drop off point. Tunicus. Okay. And now we wait. Wait for our frames per second to ramp back up again. I think we're done, yeah. Yeah, shield shield. Shield deactivated. Shuttles come in, apparently. Ah. Oh, that's an asp. There's a shuttle. Why they do this, I don't know. Like, I don't think it could have quite honestly landed far enough away if it tried. A member of your team is under attack. Your shuttle has arrived. <laughs> is this shooting at you, Mike? <laughs> yeah, with update 13, I'm quite looking forward to the instancing. Because we've had Elish problems with that in the past. There is my shuttle. I've still got lots of engineering on the suits to do. I haven't got night vision yet. I haven't got... Um, there's a few other things I'd like to do. There you go. And it's back to the route station. So while we do this, and go back to the route station, we're going to have a short intermission.
is Apex 516 requesting docking. We're just coming into land now. And I'm back. <clears throat> Just in time. We would like to welcome all commanders to the Bit wobbly on your reflection, isn't it? Shadows. And it is indeed getting hotter. Hope to see you again soon. station. for reputation all the every day of the week and then I'll do that delivery now is there interstellar factors Twenty-eight grand. Oh, go on then. Paid. Done. The thing is to go back and try that that mission that that I've got, which is let me have a look. That one. It didn't work the last time. It's not going to work that one. We've already done this. Martinez mining station. We'll go back and do it again. Acts of aggression in this port will not be tolerated and may elicit a response from on the call officers. Kill Jimmy Moses. Old Jimmy Moses. Lady sector. Okay, let's get a shuttle. Commander. Let's get some more missions. we got combat wise again more exterminate the anthill mob um do we burger on are you doing yes it's good bit of grind good bit of grind but good bit of grind you Risk assessment, procurement, salvage, yeah, pff, whatever. Incidentally, if we go over the here, first time you drop it, or do you just so you know, there's no active. I'm sure one of the factions will take a right that in. Herculean Machines makes the most robust personal computing device. Welcome to Apex Interstellar. Where I would you like to go? a long range shuttle, please, my good man. And I want to go. And kill Jimmy Moses. At a drop off point. It'll be there. And it'll be. 
Hildego Defense Outpost. Cool. That's going to get you. fruity. Have a good trip. Lord Narco Wookie, how's it going? I thought you're doing okay. Just wait for the shuttle to get his act together. So yeah, just running some ground missions, because it's a nice change, because all it's going to be is Thargoid, 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 isn't it? And I wonder how many of the fun features and functionality of Update 13, right, are going to be there on day of release, which is going to be the night, or how much is going to come on after. That's going to be interesting. Hello, take a seat and get comfy. How are your upgrades going, Simon? So far, so good. Frameshift drive charging. We'll be jumping to hyperspace in just a moment. Jumping to hyperspace in just a moment. Okay, all that sorted. Well, right then. I love it when a system's doing well. People tend to tip just that little bit more. A size 8 frame shift drive. Is there really? Is... I've not seen this. Doesn't the Type 9 have a size 8 frame shift drive? I don't know, I can't remember. Oh, that GTX uh, 970 to be absolutely fine, Simon. You know it will. It'd be brilliant. It'll do it. Yeah, light talk. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think... I, nothing springs to mind in regards to, you know, a Class 8 frame shift drive. I don't know. What's bigger than a Type... What's bigger than a Type 10? That's a big old beast. What ship has that then? Or is it just in there just to get people talking and going, oh, it's a Type 8. So here we are, two hours in. To our Sunday stream. I'd imagine to get that at Shinrata, is it? That place sells everything. 
I bet it costs an absolute wedge. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? This panther clipper. I mean, what's the point of it? Hauling? We really need another hauler? And I'd be so big, a type it, how far will it go? I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see, see what the law says on the panther clipper. Right. This is going for the Elite Dangerous fandom. They say. Panther Clipper LX. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heavy cargo clipper. Larger slip in the game, extremely slow. Just so you know, we'll be arriving shortly. Planetary Control. bombardment Apex class weaponry and powerful talking. shields. Just let me know. Touching down any moment now. Do we need another slow ship? You want a quick ship. You want a nice, fast ship. Okay, here we go. Jimmy Moses is about to get it. Of course, we've got to find old Jimmy Moses. Go, go, go. Take it easy. Right, disembark. Oh, yeah, adders are quick. Right, let's have a look. Um, let's find a panel. Just no old Jimmy Mills is going to be in one of the other areas where I can access. Hello. Right. Staff list. Jimbo. Set rep normal. He's all the way over there, isn't he? Of course he is. He's in there. That's our fella there. Jimmy Moses. Oh, Jimbo, we are coming for you. But I need class three to get in here. So when that woman comes back, and there she is. Or is it Kelsey Richmond? if I can scan her. Else I'll have to go loud. Right, and then that'll be the end of that. Where is she? Is she coming? Here she comes, here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Oh! Bugger.
Oh well, we might have to find a different way of doing this. Look, you just know it's going to go horribly wrong. Where's what's her face? Of the hab. Get in there. Yes, we can. Entering pressurized environment. Get visitors here. Well, that would get us in, wouldn't it? That'll get us into the command center. Right, so I can, now I'm in. I need the button now to drop the button. Entering pressurized environment. I thought it was that. This is not what I want to be doing. On foot controls. On foot. Minus. Ha! Right, I've dropped my access. Here we go. down here. Well, that'll be the way out, that will. Oh, hello. Who's that? Mr. Binder. Yes? No, don't mind me. Shot. Now what you really need to do, right? Yeah. You better stop doing that. Entering restricted area. Alarm systems disabled. Alarms are disabled. I should be able to go loud now.
alarm is off. There's somebody in here. Oh, hell. There's old Kelsey gone. This is not hey. This is a restricted area. Get out. Leaving restricted. There's Jimbo. <laughs> Kelsey's gone. Normally you get some good stuff in here. Building schematic, vehicle schematic. Shit. Nah. Come in now. I don't really want to shoot everyone, but if I have to, I'm get I will. Continuing search. You're dead! No, you're not. You're dead. Let's put some shields on, eh? Shield activated. That was fire. I don't see anything here. Gonna keep looking, though. Who said that? Ooh, look, it's all getting exciting. You're dead. Building schematic. Got here. Circuit board. What we got up here? Absolutely nothing. Anything? No, but I tell you what, we'll pop that out. Not that you can't. Oh, this game. I, mean, I know someone shot the panel, but like. Who's there shooting me? Have that. Well, might as well go. Le oh, sorry. Barrett, what's his face? You better stop doing that. Have it. Weapon fire will not. Entering pressurized environment. Purging atmosphere. Might as well clear it out. There's someone in the habitat. We're we'll going to get them. Entry, I saw him through the window. Shooting, Mike. Transfer complete. Into the dorm. Potential directory, particularly. Been in there. I like a bit of chemical 
catalyst. Right past you, Mike. Oh. Have it. Over here, who's what? Wait, from what is this? Oh, look at you. Dead. You. Right in the sausage. minutes. I think we're done. Anyway, we were done ages ago. Because it was an assassination mission, but um, just on the off chance, like. Long-range booking. Fire. Set the drop-off point. Your passengers shall need transport. Please assume the responsibility to attend the grievances with training while on board and contact Delta. Including but not limited to weight loss, memory loss, pain, and seizures. Shuttle request set. Martinez mining location. Oh, he's got to wait now for the shuttle to turn up. Which could be any time. Is it? All the way over there. Well, I mean, how many carriers in the vicinity? Is it worthwhile? Is it worthwhile moving a carrier out? You win it, Simon. We'll be jumping to hyperspace in just a moment. We might as well get them all there ready anyway, ready for what's happening next week, whatever that is. This is going to be a while away. Hurry up. Nice place to be, though, isn't it?
wonder if we're going to get any new missions. And if so, I wonder what. 306 light years away. Crazy. Crazy long. I'll go and get a drink while we get in there. Okay. Uh. The bright sentinel, Simon. You reckon it's gonna jump? Or you reckon it's gonna, yeah. Is it gonna jump somewhere? Or are they gonna get be abducted? Is it gonna be a case of hunt? The bright sentinel, do you think? It's more likely to get attacked, isn't it? Or there'll be a Thargoid bombing the base where they've set up this Proteus device. That's more likely what's going to happen. But you can never tell. 
We've been at it such a long time. You can never, ever tell. They do want a sword in system. You're right there, Steve. It's like, hmm. Huey, it's a... It is USS Enterprise. You're right. But it's the... It's the A. We just move the camera so you can see it. Add it the furthest, Denny. There you go. A little bit of Star Trek for you. Look at that. They got it from Etsy. It's very nice of them. And it's really thin. It's Perspex. So, um, you know, it's, it, it's good stuff. So, right, isn't it? it's, it's pretty good. I was surprised. It is, it is. Because the guy did quite a few of them, right? And I thought, ooh, which one am I going to get? Uh, and I didn't know. I didn't know. Um, and I thought, right. What do I go for? Go for the A. Star Trek, the motion picture is something like, I don't know, 40 years old now? perhaps even more. Let's check this out on the Googles. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, is actually in the cinemas again, as it happens. So it's been remastered. I knew it had been remastered. And I'm just looking through now. Blah, blah, blah. 1979. And, and I know there was loads of problems with Star Trek The Motion Picture. Yeah, 43 years old. And it's been remastered. I like that. I think it was yesterday we were talking about a bit of Star Trek, weren't we? And we said, um, well, you know, what gives with Star Trek? And set the motion picture, if you read Shatner's books, it was all meant to be the Borg. Voyager was meant to be Borg. So, you know, interesting stuff. Quite a good, nice, cheesy film. Everyone prefers Wrath of Khan, though, don't they? Let's face it. Everyone likes a bit of Wrath of Khan.
Yeah, it was good. When you walk into the room, however, now it looks straight on camera, and it is straight with the spirit level, right? Because the ceiling slopes down that way, and the bricks go this way as well, it does look a little bit, when you walk in, it goes, oh, is that straight? You go, yes, it is a spirit level. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, Wrath of Khan was great. If they could just capture that again, right? That would be brilliant. And they've got to have a film where they don't destroy the ship. Oh, we're going to destroy the ship. Oh, the ship has crashed. Kirk had his ship for bloody years, right? Before it blew up. Now, every film, let's destroy the ship. Oh, the ship's been destroyed. Oh, bloody hell. The one with the whales? Was that search for Sp Spock? One with the um, transparent aluminum in it? Yeah, I think it was. So it was three was search for Spock, four was a voyage home, right? So voyage home was was one with the whales. And the fifth one was Undiscovered Country, wasn't it? With that Vulcan pretending to be God, or something like that. But yeah, good stuff. It's taking ages to get here, isn't it? Never know, Simon might have his machine repaired and rebooted and patched. I jest. What happened in five then? So the fourth was the voyage home. Fifth was the final thing. Six must have been six must have been um, undiscovered country. And then they stopped there, didn't they? Because they've got to be all Well, all the I mean who's going? So Walter Koenig's got Walter Koenig still going. Um, Kirk still going. I think one of the other guy is still going as well, isn't it? Played, um, Sulu, was it? George Takai, yeah. I thought Walter Koig was still going, or did he die? I can't remember. There's only two, two or three of them still going, isn't it? I mean, Michelle Nichols, she passed away last week. There's not much left. When you consider it was 1960s, though. He's like, he's that person spot knocks him out, everyone applauds. Didn't they bring that guy back? 
they brought him back in in Picard. I'm sure they did. There was something very similar in Picard where that happened. <laughs> Good old Star Trek. Wasn't too first on Discovery, to be fair. I do like strange new worlds. I think that's great. Okay, at least we came out on this flipping mining station. Finally. Oh my god, finally. Get some pews on. be nice though I think to get to a different part of the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. We haven't got to be down yet but you feel compelled to you have to be because you don't want to miss anything. It could be the start of some sort of like race get from A to B because they reckon everyone's going to be in the same sort of area. No? Come on, come on, come on. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Don't look like Which I get there, I get off the thing, I get shot. Now this mission is eliminate the anthill mob. Okay then. Well, I've shared this. Passengers inbound with Apex 857. Got a landing pad. We got 17 to do there, so. We've killed Jimmy down. Moses as well, and virtually everybody else on that base. Hm. Oh, bloody hell, triple monitor. Bloody hell, Simon. That's heavy stuff. Like mission control in your house. Right, we've landed. Take it easy. Right. Have a look. I'll right, take a look now. Hang on. Oh, and that's a decent shot, that is. I wonder if I can... How do I share that? 
Let's see if we can put that on the screen. Um, right, bear with me everyone now. I want to add a source browser source. Add source browser source. Uh, Here's the URL paste. This is the picture Simon has just sent me. And then go C. And that's the cutter. Pretty cool, that. Oh yeah, that'd be brilliant. So, so what have you built then? This is this is another PC with three monitors. Cause that's bad. Shields are on. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I know this stuff. Stop doing that! <laughs> Assault plans. If you want them, I got them. Downloading data. Uh, Grenade out. Grenade out of the way. Uh, we lost someone. Uh. Cat media, sensor data, opinion polls, all the stuff you need. Downloading data. Defense plans of the rare ones, okay. personnel turrets are flying. Right. So far, so good. Into the door. Cheers, Huey. Have a good one. Transfer complete.
not that we're gonna find anything doing this but in around into the back of the door. Boom. Bit of graphite. Bit of metal coil. Cheers, Huey. Bit of epoxy. There's never anything good in these. I don't know why we bother. Eleven occupants. Left to go. Now we cleared all this out. That was fine. Was in the restricted zone. <laughs> was it really? It was in the restricted zone. Let's go, go, go. Cause some noise. Some perverts in here. Production schedule, geological data, sales records. We'll have it all. Oh, cheers, man. That's great. I haven't been to the carrier for a couple of days, to be fair. I've been uh, doing the Thargoids, and I thought I'd do this today. Because, you know, it's... Ooh, look at all this. Genetic repair. To opening that for Californium. Power. Be a few people in there. Always is. Entering pressurized environment. Ah! Downloading data. Hello. Transfer complete. Damn. Ugh. Yes. Weapon schematic. Suit fully charged. Suit fully charged. Go upstairs, the power. Nothing in there. We'll take that because I use one earlier on. Five to find. Being in there. Being in there. Being in the command center. Storage. Oh, there's a guy there. Look. Here he is. Look. 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 Damn. Nearly had him. Hostile in the area. Mission status updated. 
So I've shot one lot. Great. Here. Better. I don't see anything here, he said. And then I shot him. the voices go pay for that don't know why he can't see me. I think I couldn't shoot him so One more to find, and you know he's going to be a pain in the ass somewhere, isn't he? Right. Where's the power? The power's this way. Oh, it's crashed! Bloody hell. Oh. There I was thinking, oh, it's done really well so far. Damn it. No reason for that at all whatsoever. Unbelievable. I have to do all that again. Right. There's Mike's ship. Mike. Where are you going? That's it, no mission showing up for me. Done that one. Oh, and they've all eliminated. Brilliant, okay then. In that case, I'll just get back to the station. Which is Aster Rope. Shuttle 
just so happens, happens to be over there. Come on, what's this shot, man? It's gonna be over there, isn't it? Of course it is. Got good gravity here. We can really zip across. kind of it for that mission. Glad to have you on board. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, that was that. Did some stuff. It's a nice break from all that Thargoid combat, wasn't it? You know? Too much Thargoid combat. By the time you're ready, Simon, I'll probably head on up to the Bright Sentinel area and take on a Thargoid. Three hours I've been streaming. Oh. I think that's a good place to start, I think, for whatever happens next week. <laughs> in that case what I'll do I'll probably make my way up to the bright sent sentinel and then knock it on the head that's what I think I'll do farm sim I love farm sim do you know what I should be doing more farm sim videos all day long, you know? Farm sim. It's brilliant. And of course with Clarkson's farm coming back on now. Just so you know, we'll yeah, be sure. arriving okay. shortly. We'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a Thargoid attack. This is Apex I'll jump in a ship. Requesting a landing pad. Um, Prepare for landing. Fine, no worries. That's you in it. It'll take me two jumps or something to get back.
Everyone's raving about that show, The Sandman. I started watching it last night, fell asleep, ironically. Um, it was like, oh, it's the best thing on television, blah, 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 blah. I don't, don't know, fell asleep. I thought the Predator film was very good. Watched that last night. Um, Sandman, not convinced. I am going to give it another go, though. I think it needs another Thanks for go. choosing Apex. Yeah, well, I mean, they're all, they're all, everyone's raving about it. Like I say, I fell asleep. But that's not, you know, to say it was the film's or the program's fault. I just generally fall asleep at that time anyway. Right. Complete missions. Reputation. Reputation. Got our ballistics, actually. And reputation. Right. <sighs> Bounties, fines, hand yourself in. No, okay. Let's get to the ship. The Faithful Cobra. This area. Disengage from landing pad. Exit station. Shift charge right. I have to get back to my wherever my um, thing is. There won't take me long. Three jumps. And then what perhaps what we'll do, right, is we'll try and attack the same Thargoid, and that way it might go a bit easier. That might be a good idea. I was thinking about this this morning when walking the dog. You kind of go out and shoot different things and it never ends well. Good, Simon. Fuel scooping. Right. 
Right, so, what we're going to do is... We're going to go after... A Fargoid. That's what we're going to go after. Coming up on my carrier now. At the carrier, I'm gonna get. I think I might go for the Gauss cannon one. There it is. Fuel scooping. Come on, come on, let's get to that carrier. Yeah, so it's turning out it's going to be an exciting old week, isn't it? Exciting old week. Okay, here we go. That's not even my bloody carrier. It is my carrier. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Um, docking, please. No worries. It's going to take me a jump to get over there anyway. Okay. Shipyard. Gauss cannons. I've got too much cargo. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't want to do that either. Yeah. As soon as it lets me, I will. We're going to go right at it. Brill. Right. Uh, advanced maintenance. go 
band is together. Carrier services, shipyard. We'll go with the Gauss cannon. Which is that one. It's this ship. Right. Here we go. Here we go, go, go. Navigation. We're going to hip two two four six zero. Where else? Is off scale. Gonna get confusing. They won't know who to shoot first, will they? Shall we do Is it Audacious Dream again? Cause it makes sense, you're nearly there. Yep, audacious is, is medium. Let's do that one. Doesn't work. Since since the last update, it hasn't worked that well. Look at that in all its greenness. Here we go. Steve. Gotta remember I'm using Gauss cannons now and not plasma cannons like I was this morning. There's a whole sort of like adoption process, it's like, yeah, they're quicker to shoot. Into the conflict zone. It's medium. Let's put some speed on. We're in. We're switching mode. We are joining the fight. Right. Here we go, go, go.
But we're under attack already. Look at this. This is ridiculous. We get it. Should have had it then. This by now. He dead. Hmm. Zooming in, getting into the fight. So we've got interceptors on the way in on 79% oh oh dear shadow me I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> Simons, there's the interceptors in the background. We've both been shut down. We're back on. Right, there's one there. No, we're not doing that one. Do the other one. speed on. He's hiding on the side of the ship. Very happy, look at him. No, he's shooting me. Yes, swine. The beam lasers are sucking the shields off him. Got 
incoming caustic missiles. I've seen someone shoot down caustic missiles, right, with um, flat cannon. Sixty-six percent hell. That's madness. We've got a malfunctioning Gauss cannon, which is not what I wanted. Shut us down again. A big green guft of guft. Here comes a missile. Oh, there's a surprise. Shoot that green thyroid stuff at me. Good at this. I'm rubbish. <laughs> this is so crap. Um, silent running. Let's fire off some plasmas. That's cleared the caustic. Temperatures coming down. See if we can see if we can shoot this one. Yes, because I need lightning, don't I? That's what I need. Got it. How far? Now. All bits of Thargoid raining down on us. Look at that. All bits of guff in there. Deader. Um, if you have the option, it's my recommendation. Get straight in with Horizons. Not Horizons. Get straight in with Odyssey start as you mean to go on. That's what I would say. Mail room. Yeah, no worries. That's what I, that's what I would, I suggest. Who's the next? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. Anyone got any limpets?
Bab, limpets in. Come in and have some of that. Right, let's go. Let's go take out the um, Mr. Spikey, is it? Here he is. We are right up his trumpet. thing for toffee. Oh look out something's happening. Oh that's the canopy gun. Let's go to Fifteen per cent hull. I'm going to have to go and re arm. Because there's a big hole in the ship. Momentarily, here we go. Running away. That was a whole seventeen. Fifteen hell left. Five percent hell, bloody hell. <laughs> I'm no good at those medusas. I can't lay enough pa lay enough fire down on it. Cabin pressure allowed. So, those of you on the stream who are not a regular subscriber, hit the like and subscribe button. Also the follow, we're on the YouTubes, we're on the Twitches, and also the book faces as well. Failure. 
It's a little thing. It means a lot to me. And um, it allows me to sort of like validate why I'm out here for four hours on a Sunday afternoon and not inside talking to my missus. Bubble. Like, I think if she heard that, she wouldn't be very happy. Okay. On my way back. Not that I can do much. My, I'm surprised managed to get that heart. Um, Exposed. All right, that works. Well, you know what? I tell you what. Yeah, no worries. I'm going to call it a day on the stream right now. Thanks very much, everyone, for watching. Big week coming up in Elite Dangerous slash Elite Dangerous Horizons, slash Elite Dangerous Odyssey. So check my channel for us getting in there when the update drops and to see what other in-game events are running. I'll be streaming probably early UK evening after I finish work. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think would be quite good. So um, I'll also have a video out on the patch notes as well when the patch notes drop. Catch you all later. Really enjoyed this yet again. And um, I'll see you all next week. See you soon.